Welcome to this musculoskeletal ultrasound series. I'm Dr. Gautam Das from Dorodia, the pain clinic. Here, we'll be posting some of the very important musculoskeletal structure seen under the ultrasound. So first, we'll be demonstrating the 3D anatomy of that particular structures, and then we'll be scanning and demonstrating the different parts in this sonar anatomy. And also, we'll be demonstrating the needle trajectory for the interventional procedure. Posterior cruciate ligament. Posterior cruciate ligament. So it's starting from the middle, almost middle of the tibia, and it goes to the medial contour. And very important is so this was your AC, and this is your. So if you see the ACL from the below, it's going deeper, but here it is the ACL. And this is your PCL, posterior cruciate ligament. Posterior cruciate ligament is bounded by two horizontal bands. This is your from meniscus to the femoral, so menisco femoral ligament. Menisco femoral ligament again has two parts. This is your Humphreys part and this is your Riesbald part. So you see these two ligaments are just like, you know, the uh, starting like this, the two finger, and in between it is enclosing the, suppose this is your posterior cruciate ligament. So it is like that. So PCL is like entrapped between these two meniscus femoral ligaments. So here, what is important? If I'm holding the probe horizontal on it, it up like, like this, what I'm saying, I'll see this Humphreys and the Risper part of this meniscus uh, tibial ligament, meniscus femoral ligament in long axis. And if I'm holding the probe like this, what I'm saying, and the PCL is the short axis. So these two meniscus femoral ligament in the long axis and PCL is short axis. But if I'm holding like this, then what I'll see? I'll see PCL in the short long axis and these two ligaments, uh, PCL in the long axis, meniscus femoral posterior and the anterior band in the short axis and also a little bit of ACL that is also in the short axis, small part of the ACL. And all of these things is covered by your oblique poplite ligament. So all these areas is covered by the oblique poplite ligament. So what I, I can see, this is your medial condyle. This is the articular cartilage. Above that is your semi semitendinous muscle. And this is your little bit of tibia seen. This is your meniscus. So from here, I am focusing over the tibial uh, tibia, and now I am sliding the pipe probe. This is the very important home page for me. So I'll be demonstrating it. I'll be telling you what exactly I can see here. Okay. So here, this after this this muscle gastrocnemius muscle. This is a very bright white band that is your oblique popliteal ligament. Oblique popliteal ligament. This is your the Riesbach part of the menisco femoral. Menisco femoral ligament is what? From the meniscus, it goes to the medial, you know, condyle of the skin. So it's like that. And uh, the, the this is your the Riesbach parts. And this hypoechoic part, little bit of hypo, little bit of hyper. This is your long axis of the posterior cruciate ligament. So it is bounded by two part of the menisco femoral ligament. This is anterior part and this is your posterior part. This is your PCL. This is your oblique popliteal ligament, OPL. Okay. Now again see. So I am starting from here. I am focusing over the medial condyle and the, and the tibia. So when I can see the two bony prominence, I'm sliding, sliding. Once I'm getting this big image, I'm tilting the proximal part little towards the condyle, little, not much. Then I can see the PCL very nicely. And you can do the heel toe maneuver so that you can see it even better. Now the PCL is very nicely seen. So this part is your PCL. Okay, so this is the long axis and short axis. What I should do? 
the short axis, I'm keeping my aspect marker the laterally. That means left hand side of my screen is your letters. So here, what I'm doing, I am first putting it into the interpondylar area. So on the left hand side, this is your lateral condyle, this is your medial condyle. You can see the articular cartilage of the condyles. And now what I'm doing, I'm fixing the medial condyle, means the other side I'm fixing, right hand side I'm fixing, and left hand side I'm going towards the meniscus. Since I'm over the condyle, I'm now I'm going towards the meniscus. So what I can see here, here, this was the oblique popliteal ligament. And below that, this hyperechoic line is your posterior band of the meniscus femoral ligament in the long axis. And this is your anterior band. And in between, the cross section of the PCL. So this is your PCL. This is your anterior band of meniscus femoral ligament. Sorry, posterior band of the meniscus femoral ligament. This is anterior side. So this is anterior band of the meniscus femoral ligament, and this is oblique popliteal ligament. And here you can see a part of the ACL, posterior part of the ACL. Okay, so I'm again increasing the gain a little bit so that you can appreciate it a little better. Aspect marker is towards the lateral side. That means left hand side is the lateral side. So you can see that two uh, condyle two condyle, lateral medial condyle. Once you are getting it, fix the, la, medi, la, the medial condyle. The right hand side is the medial condyle. And then I'm sliding the probe towards the meniscus. This is TBL. So just above the TBL here. Okay. So, this was your, again, I'm drawing. Now it is much better visible because I have increased the gain a little bit. So this was your oblique popliteal ligament. This was your posterior band of the meniscus femoral ligament, looking hyperechoic. This is your cross section of the PCL. This is your anterior band of the meniscus femoral ligament. And this is your ACL. So the small part in the cross sections, I can see of the ACL also. So this is your posterior side. And here you can see uh, my depth is, you know, the five centimeter depth. And uh, I have used the high penetration. So this is your PCL. 